Welcome back to the news up here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. There's a log jam at the top of the medal count. The US stands alone at the top with 23 total medals, while Russia and the Netherlands are tied with 22, and Norway is in fourth place with 21. Either way, it's a lot of medals. The focus today is women's hockey and the two teams that do not like each other. I've heard worse than do not like, uh, namely the US and Canada. WSJ sports reporter Sean Turlup is there with us in Sochi. There's a little bit of delay on the on the feet here, but Sharon, thanks for being there. Glad to be here. So Sharon, tell us ab about the US and Canada rivalry with the women's hockey team. I understand fights have broken out. Sure, I mean, I really think this is the best rivalry in, in the Olympics. There, in some games last year, there was full line fights between the between the players on the team, and you know they get kind of irritated that there's so much focus on that. Those clips of the big fights went viral. People don't generally pay a lot of attention to women's hockey, but these are I mean the games are great to watch. There's no checking in women's hockey. You wouldn't know it watching these games. It's it's physical. It's personal. Um, you know it's it's a it's a really exciting rivalry. Okay, now they're, they're going to meet each other today at noon. Uh, one of the things I always say, I mean, the joke is that I went to a fight and a hockey game broke out. You're saying there's no checking uh, allowed, but it sounds like it's very physical. <laughs> I mean, is it is it much different from men's hockey? You know, it's it, it, a lot of it depends on the officiating, and officials tend to let a little bit more go when these two teams play. What you won't see is kind of like, you know, big hits on the open ice, but there's plenty of, you know, smashing into the boards. If you happen to hit a player when you're going for the puck, you're probably not going to get called for a penalty. But I mean, it's, it, there's not as many collisions. There's a lot more passing, a lot more fluid. I mean, it really is a different kind of play. Okay, and Sharon, on Friday we've also got the U.S. versus Canada in the men's side where there will be plenty of checking. Uh, we, we know that and they, they certainly like to do that. Are you looking forward to that one? Oh, yeah, I mean, that, that game's going to be great. I mean, there's, they have their own rivalry going. I mean, the U.S., you know, they, they surprise everyone in Vancouver for even getting, a, getting to the game, but they lost to Canada. Here they've been... You know, they've gone from somewhat of underdogs to, to even maybe the favorites. They've, they've done really well. They've actually fared better than Canada so far. So a lot of, uh, you know, and a lot of these guys play together on NHL teams. So a lot of ribbing, you know, back, each other back at the Athletes Village. Um, so, yeah, this will be a fun one to watch. That will be a fun one to watch. A lot of stakes for North America, both teams there. Thank you very much. Sharon Turlip of the Wall Street Journal in Sochi.